One of the questions I always get is, how much will it cost to complete a project in AWS? And when you are completing your project, one thing that I want you to consider is, understand that AWS is a pay-as-you-go service, meaning that AWS will only charge you for the resources you create and how long you leave those resources running. So when you are completing a project, if you don't want to get charged, all you have to do is complete the project in reasonable time. So what you can do to minimize your cost when you are completing your project is, first, I want you to review the reference architecture for that project. And for the reference architecture, you should understand the services that you are going to use to complete the project. Once you understand the services that you will use to complete the project, the next thing you can do is look in the AWS documentation. For every service, AWS will list the pricing for that service in their documentation. So you can look in the documentation just to verify how much AWS will charge for that service. Once you have verified the pricing for the services that you will use to complete the project. Another thing you need to understand is what service in AWS are free and what service in AWS are pay as you go. And you will understand this as you work on more projects. So you don't have to worry about it in the beginning. In the beginning, all you have to do is reference the documentation and check the pricing for the services if you don't understand the pricing for the service. But as you work on more projects, you will understand what services are free free and what services are pay as you go. So once you understand the services that are free and the services that are pay as you go, this is the strategy that I want you to use when you are working on your project so that you don't get charged. The first thing I want you to do is try to complete the project in reasonable time. So if you can complete the project in a matter of a couple of hours, typically you won't get charged for the resources you use to complete the project, as long as you delete those resources after you have completed the project. But I also understand that it may take longer to complete some projects. So what you have to do is, if you know you are going to complete a project and it is going to take you longer than a couple of hours to complete the project, when you are stepping away, one thing you can do is for the resources that are free, leave those resources. And for the resources that AWS will charge you for, if you can stop the service, stop the service. If the service does not have a stop feature, you can delete the service and recreate it when you return to complete your project. Let's use this reference architecture for an example. When you are working on this project, if you can't complete this project in a matter of hours and you have to step away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the resources like the NAT gateway and release the Elastic IP that are allocated to that NAT gateway. NAT gateway is a service in AWS that AWS will charge you for. So deleting the NAT gateway when you are stepping away would reduce the amount you spend when you are completing your project. Another resource in this reference architecture that you should stop is the RDS instance because AWS charge you for the RDS instance. If you have to step away, RDS instance has the feature to stop it. So instead of terminating your RDS instance, you can stop it. And when you return to your project, you can restart the service to continue where you left off. Another resource on this reference architecture that you can stop is the EC2 instance. So if you need to step away, stop the EC2 instances. And when you return, you can restart the instances. And if your EC2 instance are in the auto scaling group, all you have to do is reduce the desired capacity for your auto scaling group to zero and also change the minimum size to zero. Because remember, AWS does not charge you for auto scaling group, but AWS will charge you for the resources that the auto scaling group provision. So whatever EC2 instance the auto scaling group is creating, AWS will charge you for those EC2 instances. So basically, what I want you to take away from this video is when you are completing your project, understand the resources that are free and understand the resources that AWS will charge you for. Try to complete your project in a matter of hours. And if your project will take longer than that to complete, if you have to step away, stop the resources that has the stop feature. And if the resources does not have a stop feature like the NAT gateway, you can delete those resources and when you return, recreate them. And finally, the ultimate mistake you must not make when you complete your project. This is something I do and we are all guilty of this is forgetting to delete your resources after you have completed the project. This is one of the reasons we get charged when we complete our project. And that is because we forget to delete the resources 
at the end of our project. So make sure you complete your project in reasonable time. And once you have completed the project, make sure you delete all the resources that you used to complete the project. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.